Everybody, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to be filming a video all about why I don't like family vlogging again. <laughs> I have filmed one of these videos before quite a long time ago. It was just when you know I started to find my feet with commentary. I have taken it down because it wasn't very good. <laughs> I re-watched it and I was literally like, hmm. Just does that start trash. trash. So I've decided to refilm it, but this is gonna be quite different in that video what i mainly did was sort of talk about youtube dramas that certain family vloggers have been in you know drama with the ace family drama with the shaytards the ingham family etc 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 i used that drama to discredit family vlogging which look i still don't like family vlogging but i definitely think it's much deeper than the dramas that they were involved in hence why i took the video down so just before i do get into this video make sure you subscribe i upload social commentary videos weekly and also follow my instagram because it's my most active social media profile and i want to be famous enough on instagram that i can have the swipe up feature i wasn't even planning on taking the video down i wasn't i never i had you know what family vlogging had hadn't even crossed my mind until I found this post on Reddit. You know, it reignited my burning hatred for family vlogging. I am only gonna read through a certain bits that are important to this video, but if you do wanna read the whole thing, I will link it down below. This post was on the Am I an Asshole sort of thread on Reddit. I'm a teenager and my mum is kind of famous on Instagram and blogging. She had a mummy blog all when I was growing up and of course me and my sister were always involved. It sucks because there's so much on there about us and it's what's going to come up when I'm looking for a job, when I'm dating, when anyone looks up my name. What this person did to try and resolve the situation is they printed customised hoodies saying like no photos, I don't consent to this picture and basically tries to wear it as much as they can so their mum doesn't take pictures of them. My mum was mad when they showed up, the jumpers, and really mad when I'm wearing mine. Like she says, she will just want pictures to remember my young years by. She won't post ones without asking, but I know that's a whole mess anyway. She always says that that and then negotiates with me into letting her post. For the sake of this video, I am gonna say that this thread is real. It does seem fairly realistic, but obviously you never know, posts can be faked, yada yada yada, but I'm just, for the sake of this video, let's yeah. pretend this is real. I think what the most fascinating thing about this video is, is it actually brings up sort of the problematic side of mummy blogging. I do genuinely feel like mummy blogging does fly under the radar slightly, and a lot of people, you know, hound and criticize family vloggers and no one really talks about mummy vloggers that much. Now the differences between family vlogging and sort of mummy vlogging slash blogging. Family vlogging is often content focused at children, aimed at children and the children of the family are a main part of the video and if the children were no longer in the videos the channel would basically cease to exist. It would collapse, the views would drop, the subs would drop and in turn the money would drop as well. The channel is reliable on the children that's sort of a majority of family vloggers mummy blogging and vlogging is slightly different it's often completely adult focused obviously directed at mums sometimes dads as well and sometimes they do daily vlogs including their kids some people don't feature their kids at all but either way if the kids weren't or were featured I really doubt it would make that much of a difference of course you know seeing a cute kid in the thumbnail will increase the engagement because everyone loves a cute baby it wouldn't affect the channel so much because mums are watching that content for you know mum stuff mum advice and I'm not against mummy blogging at all I think that it's extremely necessary to have people educating people and giving advice to new mums do you know what I mean being a mum is fucking daunting being a parent is daunting and it's really great that we have sort of access to these tools that we can watch mums who are raising their kids and sort of take advice and tips from them I think that's what I find so interesting about this thread on reddit is the person who's writing the post says that her mum is a mummy blogger she's not a family vlogger she's a mummy blogger she says it specifically i honestly doubt that the mum's content would suffer that much if her kids weren't in the posts do you know what i mean and you can read through the whole thread and the girls reply into all the suggestions and you can tell that this girl genuinely doesn't want to be a well-known figure online like she genuinely doesn't want anything to do with online and she's mainly sort of she doesn't want all of this information 
information about the her to be publicly available on the internet she doesn't want that she wants you know privacy like a lot of people do you know so much information has been put out there and it's not even on her terms i mean in my opinion her privacy her anonymity has been taken away from her before she even knew what it was and like i've already said i'm not going to criticize all mummy bloggers because i genuinely think mum content and advice on how to you know be a mum is very very important i definitely think it's something we need and i definitely don't think there's anything wrong with people posting you know occasional pictures of their kids occasional videos with their kids i post a few pictures of my little sister sophia she is my star, my ray of sunshine. I don't post, you know, full form videos with her. Her full name is not public information. And you guys may be thinking that you could guess her last name. You actually can't. You let, let, there's not a single chance that you could guess her last name. I, and also another thing about last names, I know it sounds so silly, but obviously we're living in an internet age now where any employer, any person that wants to date you can Google your name and see if they can find anything about you. One thing which I definitely regret, if if you guys don't know I've been making YouTube videos since I was 14 years old and my YouTube username is obviously Jordan Teresa I use that because my last name is Fischbach it's a German spelling it's very very complicated to spell because I put my business email as my full name is complete public information and I definitely do regret that I really do wish that my name wasn't public information I think I definitely like fucked up when I decided to do my business email as my full name um I wish I hadn't have done that I can only imagine how she must feel with the fact that not only is her full name complete public information but all of this information about that is out there for anyone to find and I do want to know whether you guys think I'm being hypocritical with saying like I post little pictures pictures of my little sister but I think when someone posts so much information about their child without their child's consent that it's too much I don't know do you guys think I'm being hypocritical and in my opinion as I was doing my research and as I was actually looking on this reddit thread I think that some mummy bloggers can get a touch bit too anecdotal and what I mean by this is has anyone like looked up a recipe chocolate brownies for example so you're looking for a chocolate brownie recipe and you find a really good one on this food blog and you start reading through and it starts out with when my grandma fought in World War II with my grandpa and both of them died and their house got raided but my mum actually ate these delicious brownies and they really comforted her during that time we've all read a food blog post like that where they get super like anecdotal for no reason in my opinion mummy bloggers do sometimes not all of them some of them do get a little bit too anecdotal when they're talking about very personal things about their children's lives so for example there will be a lot of posts about like their daughter's first period, their first crush, their first boyfriend, the first time they have sex, and they will illustrate sort of the points they're trying to make and the advice they're trying to give with anecdotes from their children's private life. And it's like, no, you could easily make a post about how to deal with your daughter starting their period if you're a single dad, for example, without having to spill all of your child's info out there and without having to make it an anecdote. Because at the end of the day, it's not your story to tell. We lead on to another point from there. Family vloggers often defend themselves by saying, oh, well, if my kids wanted to stop and if my kids decided that they didn't want to do it anymore, that they would stop family vlogging and they'd end it there. Obviously, I disagree for a multitude of reasons on this point. It mainly does bring up the question of how valid is a child's consent. A child of any age, especially a very young child, cannot comprehend posting videos of yourself about your life every single day for thousands if not millions of people to see they cannot comprehend the repercussions of doing that for five ten years for example also i'm not sure how much i believe it when they say oh we'd stop if they wanted to stop it's like oh, okay let's say the ace family kids decided that they didn't want to be in vlogs anymore the ace family just gonna like go back to having normal jobs or they're gonna just carry on making youtube videos even though their views would be shit because everyone loves watching their videos for their kids like it's a little bit like oh yeah no sure 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 you'd stop yeah no definitely also another very problematic thing about family vlogging is children of family vloggers and children who are 
are part of family vlogging channels aren't protected by any child labour laws. Child actors are protected by child labour laws. Child labour laws are meant to not only protect their finances, but it's meant to protect them from being overworked. Only very, very recently and only in a few states in the US have child labour laws been extended to child performers. And child performers are sort of, you know, child pageant queens, all of that stuff. Those are child performers. But family vlogging children aren't considered to be child actors or child performers. So they're not protected by anything and I'm sure that they will be you know given a lot of money and a lot of opportunities when they're older and I'm sure they're bought loads of toys all the time when I think of very you know children focused family vlogging channels I think hmm how much of the money do the parents really really sh how much should they get you know what I mean there's two kids and two parents should you split the money into quarters and put the money away for the kids until they get older and I'm sure they do put a lot of the money away for their kids I'm sure they do but you just don't know when someone could take advantage of their children's finances you know how are we supposed to know if the children are getting a fat cut and also one thing which I genuinely think is brought up in so many videos about family vlogging is we do not know the repercussion of family vlogging. We do not know the repercussions on the children at all. There have been no long term studies, only in the last 10-15 years has family vlogging been a thing. We don't know how many children are going to start, you know, saying that they never wanted to be in the vlogs. You know, that post on Reddit was the first I'd seen of family vlogging slash mummy blogger children getting old enough to want to flash back and be like, I don't want to do this anymore. Do you know what I mean, your children are being watched by millions of people a day surely that can't be good for them you know one thing we do know is the repercussions of child actors we have seen so so many child actors go off the rails obviously there are other factors contributing to why child actors go and fly a little bit off the handle obviously exposure to drugs and alcohol at an extremely young age is one factor but definitely another factor is millions of people knowing who you are being in the public eye without being able to properly comprehend what that means i genuinely cannot imagine the pressure of being a child on a family vlogging channel and what i mean by this is as we all know i'm a small youtuber i have under 100,000 subscribers but recently my videos have sort of been you know gaining a little bit traction you know I've been getting a little bit popular the pressure's fucking real I'm beginning to crack 110% I'm beginning to fucking crack so I cannot imagine me a 21 year old woman who has less than 100,000 subscribers and I'm already cracking under the pressure versus a seven-year-old who's part of a family channel with over a million subscribers. A lot of them are watched by kids, right? And kids are probably leaving very hypercritical comments about other kids. They can't have a bad day or a tantrum day because either their parents will film it and post it online and then people in the comments will probably be calling them a brat or their parents won't film it and will be annoyed that they can't film them for content on their YouTube channel. I feel like being broadcasted every day to millions of people there doesn't seem to be any space to you know just be a kid do you know what i mean it's normal for kids to be bratty and moody it's normal for kids to be assholes kids are horrible there's no wiggle room to just be a kid this was quite a short video but i just wanted to sort of rehash a few points that i've already made i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here subscribe I upload weekly and I'll see you guys next week for a new video. Goodbye. Bye.